Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today to film the Planner Attic tag which my friend Stephanie tagged me in the other day. I'm using my front facing camera. I'm in my office. So I think I'm going to switch from front facing to rear facing to show you my planners and I'll come back to front facing again. There's 12 questions and I don't have anything prepared so we're just going to wing it. Um, question number one is how many, I'm reading this off my laptop that's in front of me here. How many planners do you have or own? Not enough? Too many? A couple? All right, I'm going to flip the camera around and I will show you what I have here on my shelf and then I'll flip the camera back around and we'll talk some more. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Ugh. I may not be able to do that. I'll have to stop this. Do it. Okay. All right, I'll figure it out. I'll hook it all together. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to show you my planners. The first one is a new one that I got from Mystic's Little Gifts. I have it set up for the upcoming year. It is a navy blue and hot pink. It's gorgeous. I have a couple things in there. It's laying there. Getting ready for 2017. These are all my little faux dories in this bucket. Um, they're just random stuff I don't use. This is a recipe binder, and it's a project life. This is my black carpe diem. Um, I don't use that. My Erin Condren, which is my memory planner. My Happy Planner, which I turned into a sticker album. This is something I got from Marion Smith Designs. It's a planner. Um, Webster's Pages. Nothing's in there. Marion Smith Personal Size. There's some inserts in there that I'm storing. Webster's Pages in yellow. Empty. This is a Recollections Navy Blue Planner. I use this as my social media planner. This is the personal planner I carry all the time. It's my Kiki K. This is the new mini happy planner, which is getting ready for 2017. This is my prayer war binder thing. This is my travel faux dory, which I only take with me when I go away. This is my um, journal's creed. Gorgeous black with turquoise stitching that I carry everywhere with me. That goes with me every single place I go. And then this is my Marion Smith first edition. It is my food tracker. And then my Marion Smith second edition always sits here, but I was filming yesterday and I moved it. It's now up on top of the shelf, waiting for me to put it back in its home. And let me switch back around and we will continue on. Okay, so now that you've seen my planners, I don't really think I have as many as some people do. I have a small little stack, so I guess I don't have too many. Um, but you can easily get out of hand. Like, I gotta reel myself in when I look at planner stuff or I could go absolutely crazy. So number two, how many planners do you use at once? Okay, Erin Condren is my memory planner. And isn't this gorgeous? This is from Mud Pies and Pigtails and this is from uh, Libby and Co's mystery box and this I plan in every single day and all I do is I go in here at the end of a day I'll just open it to a page and I do like a plan as I go but I do it every night so I don't film Th this um, where is that at this beautiful kit was from Sahili's Designs and this Halloween spread was from Hurricane Randy so I kind of use like the kits, and I will, and this is from Hurricane Randy as well, I will film like sometimes if I'm doing a whole kit, like I just filmed this one from Plan With Pizzazz and Hurricane Randy, this, it's gorgeous, so watch that, it's beautiful. Um, okay, so Erin Condren is one that I use every single day, so that's number one. Number two is my Journal's Creed. Uh, pocket size or field note size traveler's notebook. I take this thing with me everywhere. I've done a flip through on it. It's constantly changing. I love this planner. Then I use my Recollections Blue Planner. It's my social media planner. And I still have it set up from summer, but I do use it all the time. I keep my PR stuff in here. Um, when I post videos and do different things, I put it in here. So it's not like highly decorated because I need room to write my important things. So that's planner number three. 
Planner number four is my Kiki K, which gets neglected somewhat. I use it and then I won't use it and then I use it. I always decorate it though. Like, even if I'm not using it. This was from last week. This is the mini kits that I got from Monthly Planner Madness Sales. And I, they make a whole kit when you get samplers. So I, I do decorate it every week and I do sometimes use it. But this is mainly like my brain dump. I write my lists in here. Um, my contacts are in here. Everything I buy, I check off, it's in here. So this is like, things are going to change next year for 2017. I'm not exactly sure how, but whatever personal size planner I use, I think I'm going to do away with the actual planning in it. It's going to be just, just list and brain dumps because I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm writing things more than once and I don't like that. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to get up and excuse me because I have a sweater on and sweatpants. I'm going to grab this up here. Can you see me? Or am I hiding behind the chair? Okay, so I use my, um, my Marion Smith planner. It sits out on my desk open, and I think my friend Patty and I were talking about this. We almost feel like we need a monthly planner out on our desk and not a weekly planner like this. So we're thinking of using this just for monthly views um, instead of like, oh, isn't this gorgeous? It is from a River Street Stickers, if you'd like a beautiful kit like that, um, as is this one. Gorgeous. Tell her I sent you. Okay. That was shameless, wasn't it? So anyway, yeah, so that is something that we've been talking about doing, throwing ideas out there. Number three, when did you start using a paper planner? I've always used a paper planner, but I used to use those cheap $2, two-year monthly view planners all the time. And then within the last, let's see, this year I used a Marion Smith, last year I used a Plum Paper. So it's been a while. I would say this is probably year number two that I've really been into like decorating and using a planner planner. Um, number four, when did you start decorating your planner? Yeah, I'd say two years ago. Five, if you could only use one embellishment to decorate your planner, what would it be? Stickers and yeah, stickers. Even if they're not from Etsy, any kind of sticker, whether it be Michael's stickers. I didn't show you guys this because it wasn't my idea. I've obviously taken it from other people um, to cut down the Mambi stickers and put them in your Happy Planner because I hate the Happy Planner. Like, I tried using it several times and I just don't like that there's no divider between the days. I don't even have one to show you, but um, in the Erin Condren, I'll open it to a page that is blank. There's not many of those left. We're getting to the end of the year. Um, Erin Condren, when you look at it, has like a space or a gap between the days. And the Mambi Happy Planner did not have that. And that drove me insane. I felt like everything was just smushed together. And I don't have one to show because they have stickers on them. Oh, wait. I'll pull it up. I'll peel it up and show you. I'm sacrificing it. Can you see how there's no gap? It's a mess. I don't know. My brain could not handle the clutter. Not that my planner doesn't often look cluttered, but I still need that like visual break. So, what number six, what is your favorite pen to write with? Hands down, these are my favorite. And here is, I just bought some more today at Walmart. They are the Energel Liquid Gel Pentel Pens. And I think with the front facing camera, everything's probably backwards, but this is hands down my absolute favorite pen. I love it. I do not like the Inkjoy gel pens. Every time I tried to use them, they like skip, they don't write smooth. I don't like them. I don't know. I, I, I tried to buy them a couple different times thinking I kept getting bad ones, but every single one can't be bad. So I don't know what was going on with that, but I do not like those. Oh, and I love 
the microns. These are awesome. The, I have some more. Let me just show you all of the pens. I could talk about pens for a long time. The La Pen is really nice. If you like that uh, felt tip, it's really, really small, but it is a felt tip. And it's little baby cousin. <laughs> Not related, but the Rashawn Petite. Um, Stick With Me Shop uses these all the time and are playing with me, so I got one from Jet Pens, and I actually really like it. Then the Jelly Roll Moonlight for dark paper. I have a whole set of these. These are amazing. I'm a gel pen person. Definitely gel pen all the way. All points. Not so much. Okay. Seven, what is your favorite place to shop for planner goodies? I will shop anywhere that sells planner goodies. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore is kind of dumpy, but I'll go in there if I'm close to one. Um, Etsy, Amazon, you name it, I'll shop there if there's planner goodies. Just ask my husband. I'm obsessed. Eight, what is the most you have spent at a store for planner supplies? Well, I'm pretty frugal. Um, I would say I try really, really hard to use coupons, and I don't spend a lot at once, but I spend a lot every day, and it adds up at the end of the month, but I try to DIY a lot and save where I can. Um, sometimes I'm not that good at that, but literally, probably at a store like Michael's, maybe 30 or $40 is the most I spent at one time. I'm, I'm not really, I don't know. I don't, I don't try to spend a lot at once. Um, the most I spent like on Etsy at one time was for this planner. The planner itself was, I think, 37, which is extremely inexpensive for a quality planner with beautiful stitching and beautiful pockets inside and in the back too. Like that's hard to find for that price, but the shipping to get here because it was from the UK was $15. But still, it was still cheaper than the main United States shops, so I was okay with that. Number nine, what is your planner planning routine? Um, I don't have a planning routine. Towards the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, then Saturday and Sunday, whatever day I have available or evening I have available, because I, I work full time, so I gotta cram everything into the evenings or weekends. I'll just do it then. But oftentimes I find myself, after I plan a week, I'm ready to plan the next week, but I, I really don't do that, but I want to, because I like wanna plan every week. So once I get all the stickers and stuff out, I just wanna keep going. Um, 10, if you had to pick only one planner, which would you pick? <sighs> I, I can't. Uh, I can't pick. If I had to pick only one, I don't know, because I, I use them all for such different things. I guess if I had to pick only one, it would be a personal size planner because... Well, okay, if I had to pick only one, it would be my Kiki K because the rings are so big and I can fit like everything I need in here or my pocket TN because you can take the books in and out. It would not be a spiral bound planner as my main planner if I could only pick one because it's very, you can't really add stuff. Not much anyway. Okay, we're back. I had to switch views and I'm going to have to do some actual editing with this video, which kind of sucks, but... Um, these are my washi drawers. I have five, four of them. They are from Amazon. They are all pretty much full. Um, yeah. So there's all these. And then I have a washi ring from, uh, the Reset Girl. And these are all the narrow washi on here. And then I had made this, but I kind of emptied it out when I got the drawers. But don't mind these. Um, I pick out my outfits to wear. So whenever, like for um, Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping and stuff like that. So that when the day comes, I am not fumbling around looking for stuff. So those are just clothes I have picked out. But yeah, so I made this. Um, Nicole Guerrero is a beauty YouTuber. And she had made one of these for nail polish. And I had made three of them for nail polish. And I'm like, hmm, those will hold nice washing tape. 
So I made the basic um, ones, and then in between I added another shelf. So normally the, the nail polish one was just this without this middle shelf. So I added the middle shelf so I could hold more washi tape. Now, um, I found as I buy washi tape, the, old, the stuff gets old and won't come off the roll. So I kind of quit buying washi tape for a while. I use it a lot in craft projects, but not so much in planning. So I do use it, but not for planning anymore. And I want to get through what I have. And it's hard for me to bring myself to use the pretty stuff. So, yeah. Okay, I'm back. So, number 12 is the last question. And the answer is, or the question is, how about I give you the question and then we'll try on the answer, okay? I'm all wound up today. All right, what is your favorite planner accessory? Mm. I don't know. I like a good paper clip, but I'm not like obsessed with paper clips. I like a nice tassel, but I'm not obsessed. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm not like crazy accessory person. Um, I do like these little bookmarks. Well, I made these, so yeah, I'm gonna like them. But I do like one simple little bookmark on my traveler's notebook. I don't like, some people have like 20 of them. They would annoy me. Um, a little charm, you know, a couple little things sticking out, but I'm not like crazy about it. I love this clip though. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just, I like the felt clip. Okay. And then my friend Patty got me these two and I do love these and I use them. This one with my name on it. I'm like obsessed with this and let me tell you why. I'm, I'm going to tell you my age real quick. I'm 41 and when you have the name Tessa growing up, it's not on anything. And I was always obsessed with story time. I was always obsessed with things with your name on it. Like, so when I was younger, I, I loved stationery and stuff and everybody had like pencils and keychains and everything with their name on it. And I'm like, nothing. I've got nothing. I have to write on it with a Sharpie or something. So this is like my first thing ever with my name on it. So I'm like completely obsessed with that. And then I love coffee. So she got me the no coffee, no talkie. No. Yeah. One. And I think this is from the crafty mail, maybe. And I don't offhand know. Ooh, nobody told me there's a big hair on my shoulder. Um, was that on there the whole time? I hate that. Okay. I can't remember where this is from, but I'm sure it's listed somewhere in my Instagram. Okay. That is everything. I'm sorry. I, w I feel like I was talking real fast and I was all over the place, but now I have to edit these three videos together because I did a flipperoo. Um, this might be the first time I ever filmed in my, filmed in my craft room. My husband's like chair is back there. His desk is over in the corner. That's a coat closet. Um, this is a blanket on my chair that I always have there because sometimes it gets chilly and I want to just cover up and be cozy while I'm working at my desk. Um, I crochet, so there's some things up there that I crocheted. This is just supplies. More supplies, more supplies, and then I have to turn around, there's more supplies. Yeah, so, okay, that's everything. And I guess I could tag some people to do this. Who would I tag? Um, Shauna, mental for planning and, um, cause Stephanie tagged me, pretty Alice. She tagged me. Um, who else? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Shauna. I tag you, girl, because I don't know. I'll think of somebody, and I'll put it in the description because my mind is drawing a blank. Um, a lot of my planner friends don't do videos. I have done this one already, like last year, so it's nice to do a refresher one. So if anybody's done, I tag everybody. If ever, anybody's done this and they'd like to do it again because your, your styles and your things change, so... Um, yeah, if you want to do it again, that would be awesome. Leslie from Run With Craft Scissors, she'd be a good one to do this. I think she's might have done it before, but I don't know how recent it was. 
So yeah, if I th just anybody who wants to do the tag, feel free. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I was like a windbag today, but I'm, I don't know. Felt like talking. So I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.